robotics project, so it's the first time we experience anything um, using ro uh, anything robotics related. So what our um, project was was to build a simple application that um, was both practical and would humanize the Darwin. And um, so what it is is that the Darwin responds to certain stimuluses that we have um, programmed, um, and what he does is uh, responds, you know, based on motion and the speech. So. The different categories that he responds to is uh, uh, heat and uh, cold using this USB thermometer, and he checks that every 10 seconds. And he also responds to a light, a lightness and darkness. As, and what we are going to um, implement in the future is um, responding to a ledge as well as a pickup motion. So when if he walks over a ledge, he will look down and be able to walk back. As well as respond to him being if someone picks him up, he'll respond with a certain motion in place. I'm going to talk a little bit about the design of the application. It's pretty simple and straightforward. It's an infinite loop that every that loops every half second. It checks the sensors depending on um, how long it's been. Uh, like she said before, the temperature and brightness is checked only every 10 seconds. So. Um, and then besides that, the foot sensors, when we get them working, will be checking constantly. And we use action scripts um, so, that, so that it was more interchangeable. Um, we wanted the user to be able to customize their reactions, and this was the easiest way we could think to do it. All you have to do is replace the .asc file with the proper name, and it will run the script that you put into it. The temperature is measured with the Temper HID thermometer, which is just a USB thermometer. And um, the drivers were obtained from a GitHub repository. And so the program, every time it wants to check the temperature, runs that program in a separate, th in a separate thread and pipes the um, output back into the sensor reaction program and generates the response accordingly. So yeah, and I'll talk about the detection of learning. Um, the Darwin uses its built-in camera to basically determine um, the average value of the HSL value for the velocity. And from that point, once you reach a certain threshold, it determines if it's too bright or if it's below too dark. Um, so apparently, it's not able to actually measure uh, brightness itself, but it still does a pretty good job of so this is a diagram of the feet that are able to de detect pressure. pressure. The original feet that the Darwin um, like comes with are not able to easily detect pressure. So we purchased a four sensing resistor foot set. And how that's built is that it has two front sensors and two back sensors on both the right and the left side. So what we're planning to do is have it walk um, over some type of plank. And once um, the front part of a foot detects that it has no pressure under it, it would turn around and um, react in whatever way we want to do so. So now we're going to do a demonstration. Since the um, FSRs for the feet aren't working at the time, um, we're just going to play through the action scripts that will occur for ledge detection and pickup detection first, and then the sensors, the camera sen sensor and thermometer will go live and will show you um, bright, dark, hot, and cold. I should watch where I'm going. That was a close one. This only checks every 10 seconds. There's usually a delayed response.
Are there any questions? 